Good morning, good afternoon. Hey YouTube. In today's episode, will it fish? Just to the point, I will show casting and casting and catching, hopefully, review and fish. And I thought, why not start with some big ones? We always look at those big $20, $30 lures and say, I wonder if that would catch fish. And if you like what you're seeing, you guys haven't subscribed yet. <laughs> what are you waiting for? No, but seriously, let me know below. Have you tried this lure before? Have you tried one similar to this before? What lake did you try it on? What species did you try it on? What would you like to see me try? So anyway, will it fish with Paul B? <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Will It Fish? We've all seen these big giant spoons at the Cabela's, the Bass Pros, the fishing holes. Ah, California, warning cancer, reproductive harm, high grade hooks, realistic fish, attractant, proven fish, catching shapes. Yes, spoons are always a good go-to. And this guy here is a two and a quarter ounce. Probably four inches, maybe five inches. Doesn't really tell you. Treble hook, of course, as usual, we're gonna pinch that once we open her up. Let's have a look. So, oh, I appreciate that packaging. Real simple, real simple. You know, I'm going to keep this packaging and uh, use it. They call it a Canadian spoon. How do you feel about that, Len Thompson? <laughs> okay, anyway, initial inspection. Well, obviously shiny, uh, bright. Good color, I think, for pike. We are again up at our good friend's house in Northern Alberta um, on another episode of Will It Fish with Paul B. Get our pliers out. Again, guys, check your local regulations. You don't have to pinch the barbs in a lot of uh, places in Canada and probably most of the United States, from what I understand. But it's, for me, I don't even look. It's a personal preference. I love these critters and I enjoy my time with them. And if I can minimize sort of the stress in their life, not to mention if this were to break off, it ain't coming out if it's barbed, but probably be able to shake it loose if it's not barbed. So yeah, I might lose a few fish, but I'll tell you what, to me, it's worth it. So again, today, because I got it spooled up with my 20 pound line, we are using our Canadian from Berkeley. It is a uh, line weight, 10 to 20, medium spinning. This is an old kind of crappy uh, reel I've had forever, R2F. I'm not even sure who makes it, to be honest, but I've had it for a long time and it keeps working. And you know, as much as I like good fishing gear, what's most important to me is to go fishing. So we're gonna start today off over in some bull rush and uh, let's see will it fish and of course guys if you haven't you know what I'm gonna say hit the subscribe button it really motivates me keeps me going and uh, you know let me know guys have you have you used this lure have you had luck with this lure or a different one would you like to see me fish with a different lure um, anyway either way whatever you say let's try it out <laughs> we don't know if it'll fish till we fish it Pretty heavy, nice cast. He has a typical spoon retrieve. Feel that gentle little bob as it's coming in. That may have, that may have already been a bite. First cast, could have been a weed. Let's go this way. Wow. Oh, I'd like to say for the camera too. <laughs> I'm sorry about the dead glow colors coming off my skin. This is the first official summer uh, shirt off. We'll try this for a little while if it doesn't work. We'll go for a troll, try casting around some docks. Other than the trolling, for me, I find pike fishing very similar to bass fishing. You gotta just kinda hunt. They're everywhere, but if you find those holes, that's where I think you find the big ones. That's what I've found anyway. How about you guys? Any pike fishing tips other than stop fishing? But um, yeah, I don't mind chucking this thing around. It's pretty good so far. I haven't caught nothing. Anyway, I'll get back to you once we got a fish on the line. Will it fish with Paul B, baby? Well guys, the question, will it fish? Yes, it will fish. Let me go get this guy. Oh, here, take a look at him before I pull him out of the water. Not a monster in comparison to the spoon. Well hooked, just in the lip. I kind of like that it's a big spoon. He didn't get it right down his throat. Let's get the hook out of him. Hey, okay. look at that guys. Not a bad pike. Not a monster. You know what, in an earlier episode, we were running the big Otis there. Fished all over the same bay. Had lots of interest, lots of follows. That was my fifth cast. Cabela's Canadian Spoon, five inch, two and a quarter. Let's see if we can get any more. Like I said, five casts, had a fish on. I'm not gonna be keeping it. Oh, thought I had one. Huh. Although I am getting a bit of a sunburn on this pasty skin of mine, so why don't I do us all a favor? I'll stick a shirt on. Boo, boo, boo. That's a pretty big one, just followed it in. Right at the boat, saw him following it. I wasn't watching, lifted it right out of the water. 
I did a figure eight like a muskie, real slow. He come back, he took it, so again. On the cast, the big Cabela's chartreuse, Canadian spoon, it catches fish. Okay, fish up. We're doing a little monsters but what I like about it is just up in their lip. Uh, ain't no trophy. Oh, that might be a little harder to get out than I thought. Might be a little bit of a Fish will all be baby. <laughs> okay, that was a good fish. He was hooked top and bottom. That's always a little tricky to get out with one hand. But uh, you saw him, he swam under the boat, chilling out. Something just getting out of the shallow water we drifted into, letting him go. And uh, let's see if that spoon will troll. It definitely will cast, it definitely catches fish. So let's troll. see. Okay, we haven't had the best luck trolling. But uh, we're gonna go back to casting. I'm in another bay here. So I think I'm gonna head down towards that beaver dam. Kind of float around in there. First cast. Let's uh, shoot. I think my line is in his mouth. I'm gonna net this guy. Oh, I'm gonna get the net under him. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Bring him in close. There you are. The hook is out, but boy, is he wrapped. It's always a little safer for both of us. Okay. Now, I'm not gonna let you go until you're ready, okay? Okay, you ready already? You sure? Uh, yeah. All right, nice and patient. Just want to make sure you know you get some. There he is. There, see? There's the fight. Okay, I'll let you go. Okay. Will it catch fish? Pike edition? Yes. Let's get out of the wind. Will it catch fish? Yes. Five inch. The hooks all took a beating, but they, they held on. Uh, trolling was a bit rough. Oh, look at that. Look what he did to the... Wow. Trolling was a bit rough. The spoon's a bit heavy. Anything, if you're going slow enough for the fish at about two miles an hour, anything shallower than about five and a half feet, you were just continually catching bottom, catching weed. So this is a great caster for shallow water, reed. Uh, again, steel braided leader, running 20 pound lines. So when I do hook up on uh, those shallow bull rush and uh, lily pads, I just rip it right out. But uh, there you go, fishing. Will it fish? Fishing with Paul B. Canadian spoon from Cabela's. Go out and get yourself one. You can tell Tell them I sent you. I don't think it'll do you any good. And like I always say in all my videos, guys, if you appreciate what I'm doing, oh, sorry, I missed it. Right there, hit the subscribe button, not on the screen. There's one down below. At the end of this video, there'll be a couple videos pop up in my beautiful ugly mug in a circle. You can also click on that. Fisher with Paul B, baby. Not quite done, not quite done. Guys, anything else you want me to try, Fisher, for this? Lake trout, rainbow trout, largemouth, smallmouth. You want to see this lure tried on a different species? Make sure to comment below. Now, you've been Will It Fish with Paul B.